if you've been struggling to find your skin type, you've come to the right place. My name is Jasmine and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel, guys. Today, we are going to dive into how to find your skin type. Understanding your skin type is the key to have a flawless and ultimate skincare routine for yourself. Let's get into the video. Hit that subscribe button and keep watching. Before we get into finding the skin type, let's first know how many different kinds of skin types there are. We have oily skin, dry skin, combination skin, and normal skin. They all have their own specific characteristics and they need their unique self-care. Now to find what is your skin type, we're gonna do a couple of tests. First is called the bare-faced test. You have to wash your face and let it rest for two to three hours. Do not put any product on your face, no moisturizer, no serum, nothing, just bare faced for two to three hours. Now that it's been two to three hours and now is the time to see what your skin feels like. For oily skin people, you will have excess shine on all areas of your face and that's how you can tell that your skin is oily. Another thing for oily skin people is that you tend to have a lot more breakouts or acne than normal or dry skin people. Your pores can be enlarged as well. Now, if you don't have any excess shine and your skin feels like flaky and dry and rough, your skin could be looking a little patchy or you could have rough spots here and there, that's when you can tell that you have dry skin. For my combination skin type people, which is me, I have combination skin as well. We do have oils on our face, but only in our T-zone. If you don't know what T-zone is, this is what we call T-zone. I don't tend to get oily anywhere else on my face except my T-zone. This is where I have most oil throughout the day or on my forehead. Your skin will be normal everywhere else. Just in your T-zone is where you're gonna see excess shine or oil appear throughout the day, or we can say in these two to three hours. Now for the most rare skin type I think is normal. It is a skin type that is hydrated, it's well balanced, it does not have too much oil or it's not too dry and I think very lucky people have normal skin type. Another thing you can do to find out or help finding out your skin type is doing a sensitivity check. Like when you try products on your face, do you tend to get red really quickly? Do you tend to break out really quickly? If you get patches on your skin after you applied certain skincare or makeup products, that's how you can tell that your skin is really sensitive. Now, depending on what your skin type is, you can go ahead and get the skincare suited to your skin, your makeup products. It will help you so much in finding the right products for your skin type. And also, you can take specific care of your skin as well. My skin is combination skin, which means my T-zone tends to get oily. So when I do my skincare, if I am doing exfoliators or if I am doing peel off mask, this is the area that I'm going to focus it on so that the rest of my skin doesn't get dried. This is where I like to focus because I tend to have some large pores on my nose. I'm going to show you guys. If you can see, this is all okay, but... My nose, maybe it's not that visible, but I have large pores, which is why it gets oily throughout the day. And I tend to have some breakouts here and there, but not as much as oily skin people. There you have it. Now with this knowledge on how to find your skin type, you can go ahead and build a flawless skincare routine and your makeup's gonna sit on your face much nicer and flawlessly. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and like it and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!